How's it going everybody? It's Xifold here. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a basic Rust tutorial. So this year in college I'm doing an image processing class so that kind of gave me inspiration to do a small project with ASCII. So I'm going to be converting this image of this pug into ASCII art. So first things first is we are going to get into VS Code here. We are going to make the project. I'm assuming for prerequisites we have Rust installed and know the basic idea of Rust. So we're going to do cargo new and then we're going to do ASCII underscore art for the snake case. Then we're going to do dash dash bin. So this is going to create our folder. Once we have our folder created, we're going to drag in the pug from Rust into the project itself. First things first is we're going to go to cargo.toml. Under dependencies, we are going to do image equals quotes 0.243. So now that we have this, we're going to do a cargo, if I can type it right, cargo build. I always forget, so we have to go into our new folder, so uh, ASCII underscore art, and then now we can do a cargo build. So now while this is creating, we can go and start making some of our other files. So in our main.rs, we're going to use our image. So we're going to use our image software that we just put in here. So we're going to do use image, colon, colon, squirrely brackets, and then we're going to do use generic image view. And then do a semicolon in that bad boy. Now we have our basic image library, so now we can get into our get image function that we're going to have here. So we're going to do function fn under or fn get underscore image. We'll need two things for our image, so we're going to need a directory, which that is going to be a pointer to a str, and then we also need a scalar value, so we're going to do scale, and then we're going to set u32. This does not need to point anywhere, so we're just going to do our squirrely brackets right here. And then now we can get our information. So we're going to get our image. We're going to set this. So we're going to do let img, and then image, double colons, and then we're going to do an open. So we're going to open it from the directory we just set up there, and then we need to unwrap this. Once that is unwrapped, we can try to do a test case here. So we're going to print line explanation point. So that is one of Rust's special things. We're going to do squarely brackets. And then in order to print a tuple, we've got to do a colon and question mark. We're going to put a uh, comma right here. We're going to do image. And we're going to do dimensions. And then now. Once this is all finished, now we can do cargo run at the bottom here, and we should get it to print out. Oh, we have to call the function. So we're going to do get underscore image, and then now we have to put in our image name, which is going to be pug.png, and then comma, and I'm going to upscale that to four times, so it's going to be four times smaller than it normally is. So we're going to downscale it, and we're going to do cargo run once more. And then now we should be seeing the dimensions of the image, which is 626 and 564, and then hello world. We no longer need hello world in this, so we're going to delete that line. And then after this print statement, what we can do is we can set this tuple to equal something. So we're going to do a let width and then a height. These should auto set by our compiler with Rust Analyzer. We're going to do equals and then image dot dimensions so we can get our dimensions and then now our objective is to loop through the image so if I open up paint.net here we can just draw our image so images origins are always from the top and then for some reason it's always y x because it's supposed to be rotated like this but then our pug would look I don't know how to draw a pug but he would be sideways so we need to be able to scan through the image like this and then convert that into ASCII just so we don't scan this way and then our pug is sideways. 
All right, we will get back into Rust programming. So we're gonna do a our for loop. So we're gonna do for y in zero dot dot to the height. So we can get that and we're gonna open that up and then we're going to do a for x in zero dot dot to width. So we get our maximum width in x. So the first things in here is we have to check to see if it is within our scale value. So we're gonna do an if statement. So we're gonna do y modulo and then we have the scale, our scale due to the distances between ASCII characters. So ASCII kind of looks like this, so like the period would be here, so this is a lot bigger height-wise than it is width. It's just about two, so if we scale that by two, then we can fix some of the scaling issues, and we're gonna say if that is equal to zero. So every pixel we skip, we're gonna check that, and we're gonna do and double ampersands, and then we're gonna see if the Y modulo scale is also equal to zero. So we scale our image and both axes. And then now we're gonna to wanna to set the pixel to image.get underscore pixel. And we're gonna to wanna to do the X and Y. So once we get that set, we can save, and then we're gonna to want to get our intensity value, so we're just going to do intent equals pix dot we're going to want to get pick uh, zero, so we're going to get the r divided by three plus our g value, which is going to be in one divided by three plus our b value, which is going to be two divided by three and then if we make this mutable so we can edit it as well and then now we can do an if statement and then we're going to check to see if the pixel on three is equal to zero just to see if the alpha is completely gone on that image and then we're going to set intent to e also equal zero so if the value is completely transparent then we don't worry about it trying to print it and then we're going to want to print out our ASCII value, so we're going to make a function for this, but we're going to do get underscore string underscore ASCII, and then we are going to put in our intensity value, do a semicolon, and then we're going to finish off this function right here. So we're going to do if y modulo of scale times 2 and then if that equals zero. Every time that equals zero, then we are going to do a new line so we don't have any gaps within our image. So we're gonna do a, br a blank print new line character. And then now we need our function to get the image, or get the string from ASCII. So we're gonna do function get, and we can use the autofill that VS Code provides. We need one input for here, so this is gonna be a U8. And this is going to be our intensity. We're going to do a colon here. And this does need to release a value. So we're going to do this. And this needs to be a pointer to a static string. So we're going to do a static string, or str. So now we have our output on this. Now we need to do a let index. So we're going to be indexing through the intensities. So this number is going to be anywhere between 255 and 0. We just want to make that smaller, so we're going to divide it by 32 to break it into 8 pieces, roughly. So we're going to let ASCII equal, so we're going to make our ASCII list, we're going to let Rust Analyzer set our types here automatically. So we're just going to do a space, a period, comma, so we're just slowly making the sizes a little bit bigger and then we're going to do a minus and then we're going to do a grave key after grave it's going to be the plus and after plus it's going to be the equal sign and then oops, and then last of all we're going to do the at sign 
So once we have that, then we can do a return and we're gonna go through the list of ASCII. We're gonna do our index. And then so far index right here is gonna be at U32, but uh, arrays need to have U sizes. So we're gonna use a cast command. So now when this returns, this should be the entire program. So we should be able to run this. So you might be able to see it down here, just a little image should pop up an ASCII, so you kind of see the plug there, so I'm going to open up my CMD real quick, and then cd dot dot slash dot dot slash, and then cd rust cd ASCII underscore art, and we're going to do a cargo run. And then we can maximize this, so it's the full screen, and then you can see the wonderful image of a pug. Thank you for watching.